Hello? Hi. This is Martin. Oh. Hi. Um, are you busy, like, later today? No, not really. Okay, well, um, are you busy, like, now? Uh, nope. Um, well, uh, you want to hang out or something? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna call Bob. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Well, I guess that means I win. Yeah, yeah, it does. Huh. That was close, too. I've got some potato chips. You guys want some potato chips? No. I uh, think I'm gonna go. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go, too. This yours? Uh, yes. Um, I was checking my mail and the wind, it blew it out of my, it wasn't really my fault. Eh, whatever. Hey, you know where Chaddock Park is? Uh, yeah. Why, what's going on there? This evening, Cool People Con, 06. Um, excuse me? It's an annual gathering of all those judged cool enough to gain certification. It's pretty rockin', you wanna come? What, like, do I wanna go here? Yep. To the convention of cool people? Tonight? Yep. Um, well, gee, I don't know. I mean, I don't think I'm that cool. I mean, I'm, I think I'm kind of cool. See, I have these glasses. They bend without breaking. No. No, no. There's only one place in this town where you can shape up fast enough to be groovy enough to attend the convention by tonight. Where? The gym? Come on. So, am I gonna get new clothes or something? Please, man. Dressing spiffily is only a side effect. Real coolness comes from within. 
knowledge. Well, gee, I have a lot of knowledge. I have a degree in engineering. Okay, maybe you can program a VCR. That's admittedly impressive. But that will only take you so far. What you need to do is free your mind and nurture your appreciation of the world around you. Uh, and you won't get that by reading an instruction manual. Okay. So, how am I supposed to do that? That's why I brought you here. A library? The libraries are boring. Boring? Did you know that more people die from falling coconuts than from shark attacks per year? Wow, that is cool. Exactly. And I learned it there. Consider an article in a magazine, a political cartoon, an advice column, a poem written on a bathroom wall. What do all these things have in common? They're each subject to the leanings of their authors. Where, then, can one find dependable objectivity? A place that contains all these things, shades of every slant of opinion conceived, a body of data objective in the comprehensiveness of its subjectivity, vast, categorical, complex, concise, a library. An organism of knowledge made up of thousands of books, hundreds of authors, accessible to potentially millions of people. An organism of insight and understanding. It's downright nifty. In the bliss of it all, it's free. Free? Why, that's just crazy talk. Crazy? Is it insanity? Or is it genius? Here we have the fiction. A's, D's, Q's, R's, and Z's. Oh, and over here, we have the microfiche. The magnifier. Books on sale. New releases. Audiobooks. Reference materials. Autobiographies. And here, we even have literature for the kitties. But I don't like kids. Keep expanding your appreciation on life, Marty. Someday you just might. <laughs>